We're going to be using PancakeSwap with the Trust Wallet app to swap tokens, yield farm, and stake our crypto. Hey guys, James here. I'm going to show you how to use PancakeSwap on your smartphone with the use of Trust Wallet. Because PancakeSwap is a decentralized exchange, we need a decentralized wallet to link up, and I'll be using Trust Wallet for this one. You can check the timestamps in the description if you need to watch a section again, plus some other helpful resources will be in there as well. So the first thing that you'll need to do is have some BNB coin in your trust wallet. The easiest way to get BNB coin is to click on Smart Chain and then come up here to buy. And then you can buy with a credit card. Just put the amount of the crypto that you want to buy and it will tell you how many BNB coin you have here. Click next, go through, just sign up for an account and it is a simple credit card purchase. Now credit cards are the most expensive way to buy cryptocurrencies. I would suggest going with an exchange because the fees are gonna be far lower. And if you're using Trust Wallet, then you probably want to use Binance because Binance and Trust Wallet are the same company and there are a lot of different links. And Trust Wallet is really a great way to go ahead and use the Binance smart chain as well. If you don't have a Binance trading account yet, I'll leave that link in the description. You can go through and sign up and just get much lower fees when buying your cryptos. For right now though, we do need some more BNB coin in our account. So what I'm gonna do, is just go over to my Binance trading account and you can see I do have some BNB on account right here. So what I'm gonna do now is go and withdraw some BNB from my Binance and put that into my trust wallet. I'm gonna go down and click on withdraw right here and then we need the address. So what we can do is come back to our trust wallet right here. You'll see down here that there's a coin called BNB, which you would think is the coin that you wanna transfer, but there's also another coin up here called Smart Chain. These are actually both BNB coins, but they're slightly different. So Binance actually runs two different blockchains. This BNB token right here that you see in trust wallet, this is what's known as a BEP2 token. BEP2 is a token standard on the Binance chain. It has its uses and you can definitely go back to Binance and put the BEP2 address in here. So you can come in to the BNB. We can then go over to receive like this. It will give us the address that we need to send to. We can then copy that address, then go back into our Binance and then just paste that in. And then what you'll see is that Binance recognizes this straight away as a BEP2 token. This is a Binance chain token. You can absolutely go and do this, but the thing is on PancakeSwap, we need to use BEP20 tokens. It's not a big deal though. What you can do is send over some BNB coin on the BEP2 network. We'll go back to Trust Wallet. And then if you did that, that amount of BEP2 BNB would be in your Trust Wallet right here. But you have to use this smart chain token. And this is a different token standard and a different blockchain from Binance. If you have sent over those BEP2 tokens into this BNB token, don't worry, you can change them really easily. You can come to more down here and then just click swap to smart chain. That will actually transfer those BEP2 tokens into BEP20 tokens. And the value of each token is one for one. So if you have a BEP2 BNB or a BEP20 BNB, which is known as smart chain in Trust Wallet, they are a one for one. So one BNB has exactly the same value as one smart chain. We're gonna make it easy for ourselves though and just transfer straight into Smart Chain. This is the BEP20 BNB. You can see it says Smart Chain up here, but it also says BNB right here. So what I'm gonna do on this one is click Receive on Smart Chain. We're gonna click Copy right now. Then I'm gonna go over to the Binance account. So I'm just gonna delete this. Then I'm gonna paste in the new address and press Done like that. And you can see it changes right to BEP20 and not BEP2. I'm then gonna choose the amount that I want to transfer over. So I'll put 0.2 in like that. So we can see down here that the transaction fee is this 0.0005 BNB. So that's fine for me. I can click withdraw right here, check all of the details and press confirm. So that withdrawal request has been submitted, 0.2 BNB. And then I can come over to my trust wallet. We can press done right here. And then we can just wait for that BNB coin to hit our account. And that BNB has now hit our account. So we can see the value in dollars and we have 0.2 uh, BNB in our account or smart chain BNB. So I'm going to come to the browser down here and then we're going to go straight into PancakeSwap. Now, if you have an iPhone, you may not have this browser icon. So you can see this browser icon down here. If that is the case, then I'll show you now how to get the DApps browser in your trust wallet. So we're going to have to come to the native browser on your phone. If you have an iPhone, that's Safari. And if you don't have this on Android, then definitely run this for Chrome as well and see if it works. So we can come up to Safari right here. Then we're going to have to enter a web address. So firstly, put the word trust, then a colon and two forward slashes, then put the word browser like this, then add an underscore on there, and then type the word enable. So trust, a colon, two forward slashes, browser underscore enable, then we'll click go, 
and you'll see this option comes up. Do you want to open this page in Trust? That is the Trust Wallet app. Yes, I do. I'm gonna press open right here. It takes me through to the Trust Wallet app and you should see now that the browser icon is there for you. PancakeSwap is a completely separate protocol. It's completely decentralized and we need the dApps browser in Trust Wallet to link up with PancakeSwap. So what we can do now is click on the dApps browser. You can come up and search the URL of PancakeSwap, but let's get right into PancakeSwap. It will open up. Now what you can see in the top right hand corner is that my Trust Wallet is already connected. So because you're using the Trust Wallet app, it should recognize that right away and then link with your Trust Wallet. If that isn't the case, then up here it will have the word connect. Just click on connect and it should link up straight with your Trust Wallet. As of making this video in April 2021, PancakeSwap actually upgraded to version two. And if you're new to PancakeSwap, then you don't have to worry about this at all. We can just use version two and we can get right ahead swapping. So let's come into swapping. Now what we can do is actually exchange some of that BNB coin into some PancakeSwap. So the currency from, this is the currency that you're selling or swapping into a different currency. You can choose them right here. So if you have other coins that are supported on PancakeSwap, definitely choose those. The currency two is the currency that we want to actually have now or swap into. So I'm gonna click select the currency right here. I have some cake, so I'm just gonna click on cake. It will show you the balance of each. Now this is not the balance that you have in PancakeSwap. This is the balance of each that you have in your Trust Wallet account. What I'm gonna do now though is click on from and I'm just going to transfer some BNB token in. So I want 0 0.12 BNB coin. You can see it works out how many pancake swap that I'm gonna get from swapping my 0.12 BNB coin into cake at the current exchange rate or swap rate between the two cryptos. You can see the price right here. So it's 0.06 BNB per cake. You can come down and see the minimum received. Now, because we're swapping tokens and not trading them, we may actually receive a slightly different price than the one that we get shown here. It's gonna be very minimal, but if prices are moving fast, you may actually get a different deal. Now that could either be good or bad, depending on what they show you, but that is just what happens with swaps. We can also see the price impact on the pool. So we're actually using a liquidity pool here. It's different from trading. Other people are putting their tokens into a big pool, enabling liquidity and enabling you to swap them. Just know that if you are trading a massive amount of these coins, you may actually have a negative impact on the pool, which means you could get a worse deal than people trading small amounts. Also, you can see the liquidity provider fee here, 0.0003 BNB. That is just a trading fee that we have to pay to people that are providing us with this liquidity. Now, when we provide liquidity ourselves, we'll actually be getting that fee. Also important to note is up here, these options. So you can actually change your slippage tolerance. Like I said, when you swap tokens, you're actually using a liquidity pool and you're not trading directly with someone else on the other end. And so this slippage tolerance can be changed. Now in very volatile markets, when the price is moving really up and down quite a lot, you may want to increase your slippage tolerance. And this just means that you're happy getting an actual price that may be as much as one or 2% away from the price that they show you on the screen. In normal times though, and in normal markets, 0.08% is fine and that's what it gives you. So we can do that and then the transaction deadline. Again, if you wanna trade done really, really quickly, you may want to put this down to one minute or below. But if you want to get something done quickly, then you might get a worse deal for your trade and you might have to increase the tolerance between what you should be getting more or less and what you actually get when the swap takes place. The reason for all of this is because we are transacting on the blockchain and it does take a while to go through. It is an instant and so we can have some slippage, but this is all fine. So I'm not gonna change this in normal markets. You won't need to change it. I'm then gonna come down and press swap right here. It's gonna confirm all of these details. You can see the amount of BNB, the amount of cake, and then all the details, and then just click confirm swap. You might also get this option, which it says price updated. So you have to be pretty quick, just press accept then go down to confirm swap like this, confirm it within your trust wallet. So I'm gonna click send, and then that transaction has been submitted. And you can view that on BSC scan if you want. So let's go through to BSC scan. That transaction will be loading and it will be there once it goes through on the blockchain. But we can come back straight into the pancake swap, click on close right here. And then you'll have to wait for that transaction to come through. And you can see my balance actually in BNB coin has changed right now. So let's come out of pancake swap. Let's come back to our trust wallet and we can refresh this. And we should see now that actually we have way more cake and way less BNB. So that decentralized swap has taken place for us and it's in our wallet. Let's come back to our browser. Then we'll come back into PancakeSwap and let's add some liquidity right here. So instead of swapping tokens from a liquidity pool, we can add our tokens into a liquidity pool and we can benefit from the fees that people pay. 
So what we're going to do is press add liquidity right here. Now remember, I have some BNB coin and some cake coins. So I'm going to select a cryptocurrency and I'm going to select cake right here. So now we have BNB coin and cake. Now we're going to be adding these two coins into a liquidity pool. When you add liquidity, you absolutely need two coins because people are swapping these two coins and you need both of them in there in the pool to add liquidity. So what you need to do now is work out how many of each coin that you have so that you can add them in the correct ratio into the pool. One of the best ways of doing this is simply just clicking max and I'm fine with this. So I'm going to click max and now I have 2.19 cake, but only 0.13 BNB. And actually I don't have enough BNB coin now to do this. So what I'm going to do is click on max for my BNB. Now I have 0.0778 BNB right there and I have a balance of 0.87. The reason it's not maxed out is because I have to pay some fees for these transactions and I'll be paying those in BNB. What I'm going to do to make it easier is actually just put 0.05 in there. So I'm going to change this and just put 0.05 right here, press done. And then that will work out how many cake I can put in the pool. We can see the prices right here of cake per BNB and BNB per cake. So this is just the exchange rate between these two coins in the pool. And we have a 0.01% share of the pool. So a very, very small amount. What I have to do now is go and approve this cake. So I'm going to click approve cake right here. It's going to go through to my wallet and I just have to pay this small fee to approve this cake. So I'm just going to press send right here and that should happen very quickly for me. And you can see it's gone through now. And then what we have to do once more is go down to supply. So I'm going to click supply and we can see all the details of the liquidity that I'm going to provide. So I'm just going to press confirm supply. It goes back to my wallet. You can see I have to send over some coins right here and I have to pay a fee as well for the network fee. So I'm just going to press send right here. Now I can go back to BSC scan and look at that transaction. I'm not going to though. I'm just going to press close. Now what we can see down here is that I have some LP tokens. LP tokens in your wallet, I have 0.1976 LP tokens. LP is short for liquidity provider tokens. This is essentially the bonus that we get for providing liquidity into the BNB and cake liquidity pool. So we get these as a bonus, so that's really great. We can also see that I have an amount of cake and an amount of BNB in the liquidity pool. But what we can do now is actually earn extra income on the new liquidity provider tokens that we have in our wallet. So we've added that liquidity and we're gonna go over to the menu in the top left and we're gonna come down to farms right here. Click on farm and that should take you through to the new page with farms. So we can come down. Now what we can do is actually earn extra income on our cake BNB LP tokens. So I'm just gonna expand this. Now what we can see is that the APR roughly for this currency pair is around 74.16% at the moment. And there is $1.4 billion of liquidity in this pool right now. Remember that I do have those LP tokens in my wallet. Just to confirm this, we're just gonna come out, go back to the wallet and we can scroll down and you can see we've got these pancake LPs right here. And that's what we're gonna be earning extra passive income on. Go back to the browser, just gonna go back to pancake swap. Then we'll come into the farms once more and we'll come down to cake BNB. What we can do is very simply just enable this farm. So what we're gonna be doing is linking up our wallet. So I'm gonna click enable right here. We're gonna to have to confirm that transaction once more. That's 18 cents this time. So we're gonna press send on that one. Just wait for this to come through and be confirmed. You can see that's happened now. So that transaction went through on the blockchain. Now what I wanna do is stake my LP tokens. When I stake my LP tokens, I'm gonna to be looking at a return. So I'm gonna be staking those. I'm just gonna click on max. You can see I've got 0.197689 LP tokens right here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press confirm. And we're gonna to have to do this transaction again. So we're gonna to have to pay about 56 cents this time. I'm gonna press send on this one. That confirmation will go through pretty soon on the blockchain. And that happened really quickly. So now you can see I have this amount of coins actually staked in the farm. So I'm going to be earning a passive income on those liquidity provider tokens. Now what you can do is just come and press harvest and harvest your passive income or you can just leave it in there. Make sure you come back and harvest whenever you like on that one. So now we are yield farming our liquidity provider tokens. Next I want to come onto pools which are essentially staking pools and we can stake our pancake swap tokens. Come through back to Trust Wallet. You can see I've definitely got some cake left in my wallet. So what should I do with this? Well, let's come through to the browser and then we can come back to PancakeSwap and I'm gonna come over to the pools right here. 
slightly different to farms. Farms are where you earn passive income on your LP tokens. Pools are where you earn passive income from staking and you don't need the liquidity provider tokens. You can just directly stake depending on which cryptocurrency that you want to. We can come and see the APR is around 92% right now. So let's look at the details. We can see the total amount staked right here. So I'm just gonna come and press approve cake. We have to approve the transaction once more. So we pay with BNB coin for this network fee. Press send on here. Just wait for this approval to go through. That has happened there. So we can press the plus button right here. And how much cake do you want to actually put in here? So let's just do the max. So now I have all of those cake tokens that can be going through and getting staking rewards for me and passive income. I'm gonna press confirm here. Again, we have to pay our fee for the network. So we'll press send on that one, paying with BNB coin. And that has gone through for us. So we are now staking. If you want to unstake and get those coins back, just click on unstake cake and that will be back into your wallet. There's a couple of other options within PancakeSwap that you might wanna look at. So come to the menu once more. Next thing is a lottery. And this literally just is a lottery where you can use cake tokens and buy tickets and there are some rewards. So what you can do if you have some cake tokens is just go and approve your cake and buy some tickets. Now, if you match four numbers, then you might get a really big prize. You can see there's only one prize there. If you match three, there's 20 prizes. And if you match two numbers, there are 323 winners on that one. The lottery is drawn every four or six hours, I believe. So you can definitely come and buy tickets if that's what you wanna do. And also if you are in the lottery, some of the prizes are actually NFTs and collectibles as well. And you will get these in your wallet if you are a winner of some of these collectibles. That is the basics of using PancakeSwap with Trust Wallet. If you don't have a Binance trading account yet, you can click the link in the description to go through and get some cryptos with very low fees and then transfer them into your Trust Wallet. Check out the crypto trading and DeFi playlists on the channel as well if you need more help. Subscribe for daily helpful crypto content and I'll see you in the next one.